Hello everyone and welcome back to the Night Springs expansion for Alan Wake 2. We've done the number one fan episode which is all about the waitress's obsession with Alan Wake. Now we head into episode 2, North Star. Let's see what this one's all about. Oh, I'm sure. I'm very sure. Don't ever second guess me. I'm a very determined person. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> How dare you? Young woman on a mission to save a missing loved one. Desperately trying to stay one step ahead of the shadowy government agents hunting her. Agents hmm. from the very same agency that took the only person she cares about. The heck? On her quest, she is guided by her mysterious alien guardian angel. Uh? Her guiding star shows her the way, as it always has. She does not know what strangeness awaits her, as she follows its unwavering light to the small town... Spring. Okay, I have no idea what this one's gonna be about. Tonight's dreamlike episode, North Star. Hello, play by Alan Wake, hosted by Warland Door. This is gonna get strange. There's no helping it. The Coffee world. Is much deeper and weirder than people know. My brother and I know. We've seen it. We've seen you, but there are some people, an agency, that doesn't want anyone knowing more than what they see. What the hell? That's Her why brother. I took my brother, and have been chasing me my whole life. But I can't keep running. So this is Jesse, the main character of Control, somehow thinking that Alan Wake is her brother. Well, he's not. So. This definitely is a what-if scenario that is not true. Look at the lighting over here. Join us, make the world coffee. Wow. So we're outside a coffee world from the main game. These graphics are so sick. Wow, they look so good. Temporarily closed. How am I supposed to know the... I don't know this. Oh, look, it glows. You think something here's important? Two, three, what, eight. The numbers? So she does have her powers from control in this. What the heck? That's what's so weird is that. I've never been able to track down the government agency that took my brother. Until now. You helped me find this place. Now you'll help me get him back. They say it's not canon, but doesn't it feel canon? Look, she has her powers Hello? from control. Is anybody here? What the hell? She's talking about her brother from control. He was the antagonist. Right. So you're right. Maybe this is a prequel to control this episode. Am I going to have my powers? Am I going to use them in combat? A roasting bar. This place really makes me want a coffee. But I guess that's the point. <laughs> I need to find a code for this too. Well, I got ammo, but I don't have a gun. It can't be 238, can it? Now, it's gotta be a different code. I don't have any light or any weapon for that matter. How am I supposed to get past these guys? <laughs> Walk right by them. The tasting room. Man, this place looks creepy at night with rain and this lighting. Holy shit. They just want their coffee. The tasting room, the coffee warehouse. 
Espresso Express, the Roasting Bar, the Percolator, the Welcome Center, and the Latte Lagoon. <clears throat> There's someone sitting over here. The gazebo? You think there's something there? The sheriff is here. Look at this. Ma'am, here. Get inside the light. Oh, they don't like the light. You shouldn't be here. How did you even get inside? Shit, a cop. Should I lie? I kind of let myself in. You got more than you bargained for, huh? What's going on here? <laughs> what are those shadow people? Well, that's what I'm here trying to figure out. The government's been putting something in the coffee. <laughs> Turning people into coffee monsters. The government. Is this the same government agency that's been chasing me all these years? I'm looking for someone. My brother. Have you seen anybody? Well, only if you count those monsters. I'm sorry, ma'am. They've been abducting people from Night Springs, too. I'm here to get them back home. But now it's time you've left. It's not safe here. Something in the coffee is doing this? <laughs> really? It took me a while to wrap my head around it, too. At first, I thought... Well, I don't know what I thought. But now it's clear. This is deep state science. All right, deep state. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere until I find my brother. I respect that. There's a warehouse just past the park. It's locked up tight, has some fancy government security system, but the intercom is busted. I figure that's where they're keeping our missing folks. There's a, a spare pistol and flashlight on the bench. I'd feel better if you took them. Well, I guess she doesn't have her powers. She can still talk with the ghost entity, but she doesn't have her powers yet. Drink the Remember, she gets those this in control. Things easier. Okay. Be aware there will be some changes due to management. Starting immediately, Coffee World will only be open at night. This allows us to draw new customers. All staff should be pushing our brand new Dark as the Void blend. On that note, tomorrow we have a special tasting party for the staff. Attendance is mandatory. Have you seen me? Jacob Flemson, age 52. Last seen hiking at Night Springs National Park. On 18th of September, the reporting party advised her partner, Jacob Flemson, was last seen leaving for Night Springs National Park. Lumsden was wearing a dark shirt and a rock band logo, flannel overshirt, and jeans. So basically saying anyone, people can only come here at night, and the whole staff, by mandatory order, must drink coffee. So they become mind-controlled, like he says. So I guess the sheriff doesn't get an episode. I thought he did, but I guess not. Let's check out that warehouse the sheriff mentioned. He's part of this episode. Are you still with me? Yep. Good to hear. The entity is still with her from control. As part of the I don't think they can come in here. Look. I can't see what happened. What the fuck? Yo, I phased through the wall. Where am I? Oh, shit. Yo, I'm not supposed to be here. I phased through the goddamn wall. Oh, uh, this is not good. I can't do anything. Look. <laughs> What's supposed to happen? Oh, come on, man. No, no. Come on. Phase to the fucking wall. Come on, phase back in. Fuck. Dead? Come on, I can't fucking... Look, and I can't get back in. Look, come on.
God damn it. Things easier. Uh, do not drink the coffee. <laughs> of course it has to happen to me, man. Ugh. Damn, she's good with this gun. Holy shit, she's really good with this gun. This, yo, she goes like full auto with a handgun. So we need to find the tape. We don't have it. She goes, fucking kicks their ass. Okay. So this gun is insanely good. Oh, look. It's the ride, but you can't get to it this time. They blocked it off. You can't do it like you could do in the main game. Okay. She knows gun fu. A big pie. Look. <laughs> A big delicious pie. I guess you're supposed to follow the lights. Here's a light. Fun. Oh, we're at the docks. Remember this part? We're at the docks. And later on, what would happen is this this would dry up. You could go through it, and there's items out there. There's like a little uh like a a cabin out there you could eventually go to. <clears throat> oh my god, a combination lock? Oh, it's time block. Okay. That's really stupid. So pointless. Okay. The note doesn't say anything anymore? No. It used to be the townspeople, you know, having that group, the vigilante group. Now it doesn't, it doesn't say nothing. <laughs> well, let's keep going. But why the hell Jesse from Control is in this? And it seems like it does tie into her real plot from Control, which is bizarre. Because, again, they're saying these are what-if scenarios. Yet, it seems like this could definitely be really happening. <clears throat> the tasting room and the roasting bar. Should we go to the tasting room? We already did the roasting bar. That's scary. Blinking red Ferris wheel. I think he's trying to lead us down there, see? So the entity that's tied to her is trying to lead you to where you need to go to find stuff. Oh, there you go. Oh, fool. oh shit, what the fuck is trapped behind? Got him. God damn. Well, I'm just going to say, out of all the games so far that I've played in 4K, this looks the best. This game looks really good in 4K, in my opinion. Okay. Okay. This was gonna be like a, a puzzle from the the, peop, the cult of the tree or whatever, but nothing now. Okay. X shooter, you're loving it too. I'm glad you guys are loving it. It's neat. Let's see what's down here it's in this building. Another cooler. Coolers everywhere. Right now, all I have is the handgun. I wonder if I'm gonna get another weapon eventually. What the hell? Tasting room? This is where they all had to drink the coffee. Sheriff said not to drink this stuff. <clears throat> Better not. Or I'm thirst I'm thirsty. Probably shouldn't drink any strange coffee. Come on, goddammit. Just drink it's fine. 
Nothing wrong with that. I got my first healing item. I didn't have any before now. Need the battery. <laughs> Oh, look, the entity wants us to go that way. Do you see that? Oh, but also over here. Wait, isn't that where we came from? It might be. The outhouses right now. There's a couple different ways it wants me to it wants me to go. To investigate. The entity is marking them. See that? That's where we came from. But what's down here? This might be the one that wants us to go to. Hmm. <clears throat> The well. Remember the well? Sealed off. That's not in the main game, it was not sealed off. Look at this. What is this stuff? <laughs> Fuck. I guess I wasn't reloading. I'm, I'm dead. I couldn't even do anything. I was frozen in place. Join the percolation. Oh my god, I'm back here. The coffee. I mean, technically I didn't do anything. I just collected some random items, right? So I guess it doesn't really matter. That way that I went, there was nothing over there. We need to go to the warehouse. That's, that's this way. <clears throat> The guy hit me three times and it wouldn't let me do anything. Like, I was, like, frozen. So I don't know if it was supposed to do that or not, but I couldn't move. She fires so awesome. fast, it's ridiculous. <laughs> this must be the warehouse. But how do I get inside? Or go around back, because this probably ain't gonna work. This is a restricted area. Hi, uh I need to get inside. Please insert passkey. Sorry, I Lost it. Please insert passkey. Oh, fucking machine. Passkey invalid. Do you submit to security questions for authorization? Sure. What's the question? Please recite the fourth word of Dark Triangle Coffee's mission statement. I've seen in our orientation video. Which we don't have yet. We have that? to find it. me inside the fucking building that is incorrect so we can't do this till we find the tape and we go watch it we have to investigate the park till we find this training find video orientation video right where the hell would that be we already went through the park and didn't see it I ain't gonna be here. That's too easy. If we're just sitting here, <clears throat> there'd be no point to playing. So, it's gotta be hidden in the park somewhere. <clears throat> Maybe our entity buddy will tell us. Maybe the entity will mark the tape and we'll be able to go get it. the roast. We don't have the code for the roaster. <clears throat> What's this? This is how we got in, but now we're locked in. The gate closed behind us, apparently. We can't leave. If 
Oh, I guess we'll just uh, systematically hey. walk through the park. Oh, will he tell us for this okay? tape? Here. The security system wants some kind of password to get into the warehouse. So you got to work it. I wonder why it wouldn't turn on for me. What did it ask for, exactly? It asked for the fourth word of the Dark Triangle Coffee mission statement. Any idea what that is? Of course, it wants you to watch the video. <laughs> the info you're after is on a videotape. But it is chock full of government brainwashing. I watched a bit of it. It was doing something to me. It's dangerous. <laughs> you can't watch that tape. I need that videotape, Sheriff. Well, this is exactly how they get you. But fine. If you really want it, I hid it in the Ferris wheel. Ah, here we go. You'll need this key. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yes, this is the girl from Control, Jesse. And it seems to be a prequel to Control because she doesn't have her powers yet. But she is still talking with the entity. She's looking for her brother, but her brother is the antagonist of Control, so none of that happened yet. <clears throat> so this is like a, a prequel story to Control, which is crazy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Here's the Ferris wheel. times he moonwalked up the staircase <laughs> he literally went backwards up the staircase <laughs> jade said what's the story of control i haven't seen it yet basically control is a story about a government agency that is trying to document and store objects of power that basically anything supernatural so it could be aliens it could be it's kind of like the x-files if you ever saw the x-files and so, during the, the course of that game, this girl, Jessie, goes to the government agency, and the whole agency is in upheaval because some of the objects have, like, freed themselves or something. And so, through the whole game, she goes around, look, slow roaster. Through the whole game, she goes around trying to, like, investigate and find out what happened. And it's a, it's a long, convoluted story, but come to find out, it's in the same universe as this game, Alan Wake. So, it's not surprising to see that they're finally crossing over here. Number four. So, you up for a movie? All right. See, that's the entity that communicates with her. So now we gotta get to that uh, orientation again. This is the tasting room. I guess we could technically do this again because it we died, so it undid it. Better not. That's the only healing item? I have two healing items now. Sheriff okay. said not to drink this stuff. Nope, dead end. This way. Very hard to see in the dark here. Oh, 
Fox Mulder, 21 months as a member. He says, keep up the amazing work. Thank you to Fox Mulder. Okay. So the Welcome Center, that would be it. Where was the orientation? It was right near here. That's not it. That's the entrance. Only says so at a certain point. So where was the... Ah, is this it? Is that it down there? No, that's the entrance. Where the hell is the... The welcome thing? Put the tape in. Now I've lost my bearings. Oh, I found another thing, though. Where to go? Taping, I forgot. Oh wait, is this it? Oh yeah, see he's lit it up. Okay. Remember there's gonna be enemies here. What's up, Dentronics? Uh pretty good. We already beat one episode. This is the second episode starring Jesse from Control. And it appears to be a prequel story to Control. Which is wild because they kept saying this isn't canon, yet it seems like it definitely could be. Okay. We're looking for the fourth word. Dark Triangle Coffee is a fast growing it is. company with ambitions to sweep the nation and eventually the globe. With our out of this world beverages. Drawn by our coffee's distinctive flavor and our unique beans, people are rushing to join the Dark Oh yeah, look. The company's mission statement There's words simple. flickering underneath the, the video. The truth there. That's what we need. One. Truth. Password is truth. Yeah. Now we can. Is it drink coffee? What is something? Yep. Something. In my head. Please. You need to. Like a voice screaming in my head. But we got what we needed. A fourth word of the mission statement. Truth. Let's get back to that warehouse. All right. That video was doing something to me. <laughs> if you hadn't been there, what would have happened? What is this agency trying to do here? Control people? But why? What's their plan? What if my brother has already been... No. I didn't come all this way to lose him now. I forgot where the warehouse was. It was past the tasting room, wasn't it? No. I forgot where the hell the warehouse is. God damn it. I just went all the way around the tasting room. I didn't see anything. It's a dead end. God damn it. Is it over here? Ugh. Too hard to keep your bearings in the dark. Here it is. The word is truth. Truthiness. Truthiness. Oh my god. Oh 
Find the correct temperature and investigate the roasting bar. 180, 200. I'm not a barista. I'm not a fucking barista. That is incorrect. Wow. So now we gotta do this. Hopefully our entity buddy. I can find the temperature I need at that roasting bar. Right. I was gonna say he's gonna probably oh, guide us to the roasting bar. You don't happen to know, do you? <laughs> Lickety split. I've okay. ordered in enough coffee shops to recognize a roasting machine. Let's check this out. Okay, oh, look. so the temperature is higher than whatever this is. An optimal roasting temperature which is greater than the sum of our triangle. Each to each is 60. So it's greater than 180. It has to be more than 180. Yep. Okay. This is like being back in school. The first digit of our optimal roasting temperature is half of the second. And the third digit is one less than the one before. Oh my god. <laughs> so if the first digit... Is is half the second, right? They say it has to be more than 180. So perhaps it's like 240 something. Maybe like 240. And the third digit is one less than the one before. So maybe it's 243. So the temperature is less than 500. Right. We try 243. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. So this remember. Wait a minute. I, I'm thinking wrong. The first number is double the second, or is the second number number double the first? The first number is half of the second. Half of the second. <clears throat> okay, so it could be like 365. I guess they only hire mathematicians here. 487. Yes! 487! Dark as the void. Solve the optimal roasting temperature. 487. Angle to the triangle prime numbers crossed out one two one. So they're giving you examples. Ones I already I already tried two four three because we knew it was more than one eighty. All right, four eighty seven. We got it done. Very nice. Cool. My reward: some gamer points. <laughs> Please recite the optimal roasting temperature for dark triangle coffee beans in Fahrenheit. Four hundred and eighty-seven. That is correct. Further verification. Oh my God! Oh, try the coffee. I tried the coffee. Coffee. Try the coffee. <laughs> Worth a shot. Try the coffee. That's gonna Great. be a problem. Great. I can't stop now. You'll keep me safe. Yeah, there's basically an entity right. in her jade that's guiding her and helping her. They don't know if it's a ghost or not, but definitely it's something supernatural. I forget if they actually s explain it fully in control. Where's my fucking flashlight?
Yeah. Bitches. I've never seen a game where a handgun fired that fast before. Here it is. Yeah, this looks completely normal. Here goes nothing. Nice cold coffee. Been sitting out for weeks. Full of bugs. Huh. That wasn't so. <gasps> Something wrong with this coffee. I knew I could count on you. How does she shoot so fast? I mean, it would be impossible unless open. unless the gun fired by itself as an automatic. For example, I used to play light gun games in arcades, and you could fire that fast. Like House of the Dead 1, you can fire that fast. What you have to do is you hold the gun up like this, and you take your finger, and you go like this. So it's not a real gun. Real gun, you have to depress and hold to have the, the, the mechanism, you know, fire the bullet. You have to go squeeze, squeeze. The, the only way to fire that fast would be going like this. Like this. So it's impossible. Unless it's a full auto gun, you can never fire that fast. <laughs> it's just not possible. You can't squeeze and release and squeeze that fast. <clears throat> also, you lose your aim and you put it spray everywhere. What's going on? The fuck? What happened? Is he not here anymore? Was that him? Oh shit, it was him. He's not here anymore. So the sheriff's in trouble. Shit. Fuck, how do I get back there? I went the wrong way, didn't I? Wait, this way? I'm so confused. Oh no. Are you all right, Sheriff? I heard gunshots. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I was looking for you when one of those things jumped me. Oh. Got a little bit of coffee in my mouth, but I spit it out. Should be fine. But listen, I figured something out. What did you figure out? <laughs> Are you sure? You're okay? Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. Those government bastards will never get me. <laughs> but it, it's not just the government. Oh, God. There's something else here. I, I don't know what it is, but it's... You need to get your brother and get out of here as soon as you can. Promise me. Yeah, I promise, Sheriff. Good. That's good. I'm just gonna catch my breath here a minute. I'm... <sighs> Crazy. <laughs> yeah, Carlton Jr. says in Call of Duty they have guns like that, but, you know, they're probably all kinds of bullshit, not real. I don't think any... Like I said, you'd have to have a fully auto handgun where you hold the trigger and it just fires by itself. No human could squeeze and release that fast. It's just not possible. And even if you were, how would you maintain aim? You would never maintain aim. Tried the coffee. You are coffee. Oh, great. I insanely good gun. How dare you? What the fuck? He is the book. What the fuck are those things? I guess it's still time.
Shit. People out or in? Probably worth holding on to. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> I've done their bidding, packaged their coffee, and brought the people to Coffee World to share in their blessing. They say I am almost ready. you get in here oh my god it's family time it's the it's best the part of the day hey snap out of it coffee solves all your problems yeah it lowers heart disease and leads to higher life expectancy fuck i'm so sorry sheriff I need to find my brother. He has to be okay. Coffee beans are actually the seeds of coffee berries. The berries are sometimes referred to as coffee cherries. Good lord. Oh, look at this! Whoa! What the? What the hell? <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this? Yes. It said, yes, I have. This is normal for me. Oh, boy.
How the hell are you going to tell me this doesn't tie into the real story of Alan Wake? It does. 100% it does. A conspiracy within a conspiracy. How can one expose a lie when the truth exists beyond our wildest imagination? Who can ever truly know how deep the rabbit hole goes in Night Springs? All right, <clears throat> we got one more. We got one more, folks. One more wild episode called Time Breaker coming right after this. Hope you've enjoyed Night Spring so far. I have, it's been quite good. And again, I believe that even though the makers of this are saying this doesn't tie, these are what if scenarios, it doesn't tie into the real story. I think it does. I think they're actually full of it. How could you have the character from Control referencing all these things from control, including the entity in her, right? It doesn't make any sense. It absolutely has to tie in. There's no way. I think that, again, they're trying to fool you into thinking it's not, but it absolutely is. There's got to be a tie in here. So anyway, one more episode to go coming up next.